everyone. <laughs> I wanted to say hi, everybody. Hello, everyone. It's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. How was your day today? I had an exciting day. Not the kind of excitement that you'd like to have, but I did have an exciting day. I got up early. I was early. I had a dentist appointment for me today, and my dentist appointment was at 9.20. Well, I got up at, it was like a little after 7, I got up, and I was working on my comments, and I had just, I, well, when I was halfway through, I looked at the clock to see what time it was, and I had like 45 minutes left, I thought, oh, this is good, I'm making good time. And so I finished the comments, and when I looked at the clock, it was 18 minutes after, and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm at two minutes I'm supposed to be at the dentist. So... I called them up and said that I'm coming, but I'm, I've lost track of time. And she said, how long would it take me? And I said, probably 15 minutes. And she says, well, we have 40 minute appointments and that's a little bit late, too long. So they will have to move me. And so she was moving me to 10 o'clock and I thought, well, I'll just go. So I went and I got there about 930. Well, they had swept some of the girls around and thank goodness I didn't miss out on the girl. I was supposed to have Megan. I had never no, had... No. Yeah, Megan. I was supposed to oh. have... I was supposed to have Megan, and they were going to swap, swap me to Grace, which I've had Grace a lot, and Grace does not have very nice um, people skills, actually. She's kind of, kind of abrupt, but I've had her all along, and so I've kind of gotten to where I know what she's like. Well, they were going to switch me to Grace, but because I got there when I did... Megan had switched her schedule around, and so I was able to have Megan. And next time when I go in September, I will have Julie, which is good because Julie used to clean my teeth years ago when Dr. Habig had his dentist office. Then the other thing that happened today, that was the first thing. that I was late for an appointment, but I did get my teeth cleaned. And when I came home, I always back into the garage. Wow, I haven't driven the car in probably, I don't know how long, a good couple months. Probably three or four months at, at least. At least. I, have, I don't drive at all. And I went to back up and I'm thinking, gosh, I'm angled awful far, so maybe I better straighten out. Well, I straightened out in the wrong way. <laughs> I straightened out right into, the, right into the side of the door of the barn. And so I scraped my car. So I, it's, now this is working on me because I was late for my appointment and now I've just messed up my car a little bit. And so I thought, well, if worst comes to worst, you just call Jim. <laughs> so I called Jim to tell him because it always makes me feel better if I think somebody else knows about it besides me. And he says, oh, it's, a, and he, he didn't, he, it's no big deal to him. And so I says, well, when uh, you come home, look at it. And he says he thinks he can buff it out. So let's hope he can buff it out. Yeah, it looks a lot worse than it is. It's the paint transfer from the barn siding is what looks bad. Yeah, I, Other hope, that's, than I that, hope that's what that, it is. That will come right off easy. And so he will have to fix it for me. And then I and I says, but it's on the passenger side, so when I get in my car, I'll never see it unless I'm the passenger in my own car. <laughs> But that was what my day was like. Then the kids, he had to go get the kids, and the kids came, and they played, and I made them, of course, egg sandwiches, egg on bread. It's the I call it egg sandwiches, but it's really not egg sandwiches. It's egg on bread. It's where you scramble the bread up and put the bread on the in the frying pan. Scramble well, the scramble, egg up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we we didn't scramble bread. No, I didn't scramble the bread. I scrambled the egg up. And then I put it in the frying pan and put the bread on top and flip-flop. It's sort of like French toast, but better, I think. And the reason I used to do that with the daycare kids was if you gave them a toast and if you gave them an egg, they would eat one or the other, but they'd never eat both. So I made it with it on the bread like I used to like it. My mother used to, we used to have, because we had chickens, we used to have eggs fairly often. And she always wanted to put them all in the frying pan and just do all of them easy over. It was easy to do that, but I didn't like eggs enough to do that. So I used to want mine on bread. So sometimes she would do it on bread and sometimes she wouldn't. Depends on how how ambitious she felt that day. And so when I make eggs for the kids, I always do it eggs on bread because that's the way I like it. I don't know whether they, I think they all like it that way, but these kids like syrup. I liked mine plain. I don't like it with syrup either. And I told them when the syrup is gone, they're going to have to have 
powdered sugar and they go oh that sounds good and i'm thinking oh so when i would that get whenever <laughs> whenever i used to get um french toast at a restaurant they always want to put powdered sugar on it and i always tell them i want mine plain but you can tell they put they must put sugar in this in the they eggs because yeah. you can taste it and i don't like that i like it just plain no no sugar in those eggs they're not supposed to have sugar in them well, that's the end of my, my daughter. The kids are still here. My daughter's doing her taxes and um, on Jim's computer because we have the program. And I'm going to go put this video together, and I hope you all had a great day. I was, I was looking up um, how our immunization, how we how were. How to improve your immunity. immune system. That's right. And... How do you know you have a good immune system? Well, I apparently have, I think women have it said women are have a better immune system than men, and if you're overweight, that's a down that's against you also. So that's another reason to try to slim down, get your immune system healthier with less pounds on your bones. Okay. <laughs> well, take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.